Hello, my friends, and welcome back. It is episode two. Uh, let us continue. The Rycad system, the domain of rogue trader Winterscale, one of my peers and rivals. Besides me, two other rogue traders exist in the Coronas Expanse, and each of them possesses resources comparable to mine. Perhaps you will one day assist House von Valancius in surpassing both of them in affluence and splendor. I set the course for Rykad on the demand that... for a very specific reason. Perhaps I shall yet apprise you of the purpose for this voyage, but now is not the time. You can start by not asking questions of this sort. I have no need for sycophants. I will draw my conclusions when an opportunity to prove yourself arises. As for when you will be granted that opportunity, only the God Emperor knows. In that case, I shall head to... <laughs> Disturbances reported on the adjacent decks. Seneschal, if the need arises, protect the new blood. It is possible that the chance to prove your worth may present itself sooner than you may have anticipated. All right. That's a lot of dudes. Challenges make the spoils that much sweeter. The masters demand your death! Whoa, they got so for protect me. So many hit points. I took care of this one. My faith strengthens me. Chaos guides me. He's gonna die, man. He hasn't got many HP. Didn't flinch. It's not even my turn yet. How can I avoid battles? Or avoid hits? Okay, shooting kills my movement, but this does not. And neither does this, I presume. I'll see to it personally. On it. <laughs> I am ready for whatever comes. Such is the will of chaos! I serve the ruin of powers! Out of my way! Brace yourself, Abelard. Crush the feeble! Mercy for heretics! Tusty! Fewer target! Just a minor setback. Burn, baby, burn! Heretic Inferno! He's as good as done. Just to hover over my portrait to see my positive effect. Oh, it's this one. Rit 
reduced to dust. Get to the heretics. Was that? That was not necessary. <laughs> you could have aimed for someone else. Happen. Your heretic on fire. What is the ringing? Weapon at the ready. To the weak. Who, if not? <laughs> Burn. Nice. Mort, take a team with you and clear a path to the transport line. Do not let a single horse son survive. Didn't bat an eye when that scum burst onto the deck, huh? Not bad. I have seen many an officer who panicked at the sight of combat on the upper decks. The false sense of security offered by their position makes them that much more vulnerable to the harsh realities of warp travel. Mort has gone on ahead to clear a path for us. If you want to make yourself useful, go after him and see if the Arch Militant requires aid. And be quick about it! Let us not dawdle. Any loot? Am I gaining EXP? I have gained some EXP. I always have a backup plan. Keep your wits about you. Oh, Psychic Flame is just not very powerful at the moment. It's the only issue. Always keep your eye on the prize. Rise to the top, or get left in the dust. Come this way, I guess? Yeah, if I had 250 hit points, I'd just stand around too. Uh, thank Providence you are alive and well. Always on time, eh, Coonrad? The moment we finish chasing the riffraff around the deck, you show up. Always just after the fighting's done. You could set your chrono by it. Mort, pull yourself together. What, did the Lord Captain send you to chivy us along? We're all done here. I'll report right away. Master of Whispers, what is happening on my ship? The Voxnet is silent. The Vox Master is not responding. Armed assailants have stormed the officer's deck, and my arch militant just destroyed several more heretics on the way here. Is this a severe case of warp madness? Have some of my crew lost their minds and forgotten who they are and whom they serve? Report! 
I have not yet received word from the Engineerium regarding any Geller Field failures, but communications were already unstable half an hour ago, and now they have ceased altogether. Whatever the cause may be, the consequences are spreading fast. I am receiving scattered reports from the middle decks, and the only voxcasts from the lower bays are one-way heretical gibberish. That the madmen have already reached the officer's deck suggests that this outrage was planned in advance. Perhaps this is an organized mutiny. Lunatics, fools, heretics. This ship houses thousands upon thousands of people. Pernicious thoughts and warp-induced delusions could have tainted any one of them. It is a difficult notion to accept, but such risks are inescapable. First, we have to confirm that the bridge and the navigator's sanctum are secure. And I have the means to do both things at once. Edelthrad, where is he? I must know if he is unharmed. A psyker aboard a ship that is potentially being assailed by the war could pose a greater threat to himself and others than a whole army of madmen with improvised weapons. I tried to locate him, but the last thing known about his movements is that he arrived on Transitional Deck 18. Blast it! Master of Whispers, find Edelthrad immediately. Seneschal, locate Tlas and the Sister of Battle. Both are to remain at my side. Arch Militant, with me. I must go to my study. And it appears we might encounter heretics along the way. If I may, Lord Captain. Transitional Deck 18 is at the heart of the disturbance. And if our goal is to bring Edelthrad back, I could use some support. After all, I'm not as adept at directly confronting enemies of the House as the esteemed Arch Militant. And taking into consideration Edelthrad's psycho powers. Then it's settled. Find Edelthrad and bring him here. In whatever state you find him. This elevator leads to restricted compartments such as my personal chambers and the bridge. Do not let me down. I require you both. Do you understand? Considering the attack, there could be a disruption in the Geller field and the infiltration of malevolent forces onto the decks. Psychus can react to such things in the most unpredictable ways. Enough! Master of Whispers, you must not allow my heir to turn into a mindless mutant and to perish under Enforcer Fire. Do whatever it takes to bring Edelthrad back to me. Not everything in your power. You will do as I say. I'll have your heads if you fail. Is that clear? Then move out. Bump bump. This guy sounds like he's falling to chaos already. Are you ready to head to 18? It is a long walk. And you do not even have proper gear. <laughs> of course you will. Lady Theodora would never have someone she couldn't rely on as one of her heirs. But that is no longer relevant. Oh, 
he's a traitor! I could, I could have, I could have told you that literally thirty seconds ago, when I said he sounds like he's already fallen to the warp. <laughs> I mean, there's no way that such good voice acting would suddenly, you know, be all full of pauses and sound very chaosy for no reason. Careful, careful. Be gentle with our guest. He has an important mission to complete during our visit to the Warren Chamber. And for that, I need him breathing. Oh, you are back with us, I see. Delightful. How perceptive of you. <laughs> I'll help you with the next insight. I need you here for your blood. You have the option to share it voluntarily, or I will squeeze it out of you myself. We are in the anteroom of the War in Chamber, this void ship's most hallowed vault. There, beyond those gates, lies the relic that gives Theodora all of her power the sacred Warrend of Trade. Only one obstacle remains on my path to obtaining it. The gates of the chamber are guarded by the Sentinel, an ancient device that will only open the door to a true heir of the dynasty. Now, I expected to do this part myself, but never mind. You will offer your blood to the Sentinel. Oh, uh, you're not really an heir. You're just a pretender. Use my psychic powers against him. Psychically controlled. That did not work. Did you forget something? I suggest you hurry. High levels of caustic humors. The subject is in a state of heightened stress. Do you require assistance? Yes. <laughs> yes, I do. Request accepted. Initiating defense protocol. <laughs> well, there is still another way. Wow, that is 
is one big piece of paper. How are you supposed to walk out with that? I always keep my options open. Escort the child of the house to safety. Distance from the current location to the nearest arsenal. Initiating situational calculations. Temporary obnubilation following acute stress. Mobile unit of the Warren Sentinel standing by. Mobile unit of the Warren Warren Sentinel, designed as a personal escort of the child of the house and a means of communicating with the rogue trader's subjects. Mobile unit standing by. Cool. Always wanted my own mobile Sentinel. I don't know why, but my uh, my microphone volume keeps on dropping while I'm playing this game. I'm going to see if I can resolve this issue somehow. Uh, just quickly. I'm just, I'm just noticing that it's dropping, or it seems to be dropping. Done, done. There we go. It's back to normal. Huh. I don't, I don't know what's causing it. It's a bit weird. I just shut down a few programs that I think might impact it. Voxcast frequencies disrupted. Communication protocols breached. Signal latency assessment unavailable. Middle and upper decks. Assuming the probability of safe placement in areas of concentration of armed units. Calculating. To prevent unauthorized units from breaching the warrant chamber, preemptive sealing must be initiated. The mobile unit will start executing the received order immediately after the safety of the warrant is secured. Okay. How is he planning to steal this? Look at it. It's absolutely enormous. I wonder if it's got the old Lipsum Dorsum on it. That is Keep your wits about you. That is absolutely crazy. I always have a backup plan. Master! What? Whatever are you doing in the Warren Chamber? How did you... Throne, preserve me! What is the meaning of this? What? He intended to take revenge, and trying to reach the warrant was somehow part of his plan. Oh, holy God, Emperor! I presume he is the one responsible for the mutiny. Bandmaster. 
I wish to remind you that you are to refer to the Lord Captain as Lady Theodora. Saints' blood! And it is small wonder that the heretics are so well organized. I thought his order to seal the passages between decks was his attempt to stop the attackers from spreading to other levels. But now I see the real reason. It was to stop the enforcers from intervening. At least you are alive, and now safe, Master. Alas, I doubt we can afford to look for a compartment to sit out this disaster. Hmm. You're in a bad way. I can treat your wounds. I have a Medicaid kit with me. And for the love of the throne, now is not a good time to be walking around the decks without means of self-defense. Here. Yes! When a character initially suffers from an injury, it's considered fresh during the first three rounds. Once they have passed, a fresh injury becomes an old injury. A fresh injury can be healed with a med kit without passing any skill tests. Old injuries must be healed with a med kit. They require the character administering the treatment to pass a Medicaid skill test to succeed. Your Seneschal is always there for you. Let me help. I'll make sure to return the favor one day. Okay. Okay. Um, character wearing this armor will dodge 35% of average enemy attacks in this chapter. I won't compromise my principles. I won't stand for it. Can't be equipped by this character, okay, fine. Seems reasonable. Rise to the top, or get left in the dust. You'd think that some of these guys would have dropped weapons we could have picked up. Is there money to be made? Do I want to go this way? I always keep my options open. Nose. Look no further. This wound will make a fine scar. That is a noticeable improvement. Now you're prepared for the trials ahead. The lower decks are teeming with heretics, instigating the rabble to revolt. But that is the least of our problems. The ship's enforcers are rounding up the scoundrels and suppressing the resistance. The situation on the middle decks is much worse, although strike teams have already been dispatched there. All communication with the bridge and the engineering bay was lost. So, apart from scattered voxcasts, we have no information to go on. But that okay. is not the worst of it. All these jolts and shaking are most alarming. These are signs that the navigator and the master helmsman are having difficulty translating the ship out of the warp and into real space. I fear that they may have already lost control. We must reach the Navigator's Sanctum and get a handle on the situation. 
If we can manage that, some aboard this vessel may yet survive. I am no helmsman, or God Emperor preserve me navigator. However, I have spent my entire life aboard void ships equipped with warp drives, and I know that portents such as these do not bode well. It could be that the Gellerfield has faltered. Perhaps the navigator was struck down by warp corruption and is fighting for the last shreds of his humanity as we speak. If we get thrown off course, we will be forever lost in the war. Naturally, we would likely not have long to live in that scenario. But I will not resign myself to such an outcome just yet. You sent me a Vox message. Specifically, a Vox cast on the officer's frequency, which I had the good fortune to receive. You mean to say you did no such thing? <clears throat> I think the Warrant Sentinel... Warrant Sentinel? The Lord Captain barely ever ventures down to the chamber, and I was at her side only once or twice when she did. And I did not see anything of the sort. The Warren Chamber is an ancient and rather sacred mechanism that the ship's tech priests treat with the utmost reverence. I assume that whatever it is that you did, you must have activated certain processes and caused the Sentinel to awaken. But then, why did none of it happen when Lady Theodora did the same? Lady Theodora's. Which one? The last one I received was about the Navigator's Sanctum, and that was a good while ago. In any case, let us hope that the Lord Captain is well, and safely in charge of the ship's defense. In the meantime, we must do all we can to prevent the ship from veering off course. Yes. Do it in the name of the Emperor. Looks like the microphone volume is staying consistent now. Hopefully. During warp transit, the Sanctum is closed to all who are not involved in traversing the Empyrean. And for good reason. For the Navigator to open their third eye and perceive the way, the Sanctum must be bathed in the energies of the Immaterium. Only a Navigator can withstand such an ordeal. For the rest of us, any contact with the warp is fraught with perils such as loss of sanity, spontaneous mutations, and death. Absolutely. Let us proceed. To arms, loyal sons and daughters of the God Emperor! Fight the heresy and corruption that threatens to consume our home! And with all your might, destroy those who have dared! The Lord Captain is calling her crew to battle, which means the Vox networks are set up for broadcast transmission, not message exchange. Splendid. While the rogue trader inspires proper resolve to fight in her subjects, you and I shall prove that her trust in us is well deserved. Onward! You me. Close ranks! Come to chaos! Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I don't have any splash attacks. It's me. Death to non believers. Okay.
Which one do I aim for? You never stood a chance. I'll make it happen. I serve the ruinous powers! I serve the ruinous powers! Charge is a warrior ability that works only when they're using a melee weapon. It's not considered an attack action. Charge to close the distance between you and the enemy and deal damage. Okay. Unlike single shots, melee attacks hit automatically with no need for a roll. I will do my duty. I feel like a fighting retreat might actually be a good move. Since I'm badly outnumbered. Doomed. Out of my way! Death to the weak! Chaos guides me! It's as good as done. I'll make it happen. Double kill. Oh, no, I didn't kill him. I bring ruin. You are about to have a bad day. I took care of this one. Now, unfortunately, I cannot attack again. There doesn't appear to be like an Overwatch. Such is the will of chaos. Death to non-believers. <laughs> <laughs> I serve the ruinous powers. You hit your own guy, you melon. Single shot. Dead eye shot. Your end was inevitable. I'll see to it personally. Who, if not me? 
Another enemy down. That was really the wrong target, actually. I'll make it happen. One fewer target. It will be done. Death to the weak! Reduced to dust! Alright. There is check. So if you're in if you're in melee with somebody, you, you are gonna get checked. That's uh that's good to know. Once again, the my microphone volume has dropped. I don't know, it seems to be something about the it seems to be something about the game. I'm not actually running any other software that interferes with with the microphone at all. Um uh, hopefully the reduced sound level is not too distracting. I'm at your service. Careful now. Um Yeah. That's interesting. Seems to be reducing to uh, 60 from 80, so I'm, I'm losing uh, microphone gain. Fate and fortune favor the bold. I will lead us to fortune. Okay, let's do some leveling up. I'm gonna try and figure out after this how to fix the microphone problem. So I can, you know, I can go into the options and, you know, I can go into uh, my control panel and fix it. But it looks correct. That's the funny thing. Is like it looks. It's it's at the correct level, but if I. If I select it in Windows and press OK, it fixes itself as it's just done now. Now I see perfect voice level. So I'm not really sure what's going on there, but uh, I'll see if I can research this between the episodes. Uh, unique problem, I've not seen... Um, obviously it's not going to matter to you if you're not a, not a streamer, but... Uh, bit of a unique problem for sure. Okay. Choose skill.
Okay, I guess we'll just go with logic. Is that it? I don't, I don't uh, increase my stats or anything like that or buy any new skills. Should we go with... I, I just, I don't really know what these skills do. Guess we'll go with this. Oh no, I chose coercion for some reason. <laughs> I meant to choose uh, carouse. I guess I can't undo it either. Whoopsie. I wonder if I can undo that mistake. Okay, anyway, we're out of time. That's it for now. I gotta figure out why the why the microphone keeps on losing like 20% of its gain and what triggers it so I'm not really sure what's triggering this issue but uh, I'll try and figure it out that is it for now hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys next time